Hello, I'm Dr. Phil Langell, director of the Rothney Astrophysical Observatory, and I'd like to tell you something really amazing about the James Webb Space Telescope. And it's all about exoplanets. One of the ways that astronomers use to discover exoplanets is a, a, an eclipse. Believe it or not, if this is a distant star and this is a planet, when the planet passes in front of the star, the starlight dims by a tiny little amount and astronomers can detect that dip in the brightness. And if it repeats over and over again, we know there's a planet there. We can use this method to determine some of the interesting properties about a planet in a global sense, what its average density might be and uh, what its surface temperature might be uh, on average. But we wanna know more details. We wanna know what's the planet made out of does it have an atmosphere? What kind of molecules are in the atmosphere? So we can figure out the conditions that exist on that planet. The James Webb Space Telescope observes exoplanets in the infrared, and that be helps because planets actually emit infrared light. They don't really emit much in the optical light. And when it's next to that super bright star, you just can't see the detail of, in, the, in the planet's light that you wanna see. But in the infrared, you can. The James Webb Space Telescope has an infrared spectrometer. It can soak up those infrared photons and it can do the analysis and tell us what kind of interesting conditions pervade on the planet itself.